show, baseball fans, and Stratomatic baseball fans, especially out there. I know you've been waiting. You've been waiting for this. This is the 2005 NLCS, and this is game one. As you recall, the NLCS of 2005 was between the Houston Astros and the St. Louis Cardinals. And, um... We already had the 2005 ALCS, and by now you probably all, anybody that was interested knows that the White Sox were defeated by the 2005 Angels, even though in real life the 2005 White Sox actually won that series. And we come to this series. Now this series was won in real life by the Astros, but is there, is there going to be a different result in this series or not? You'll have to tune in and find out. So, uh, the uh, and I want to point out that for this series, I am using the actual pitching matchups. I am not using the actual lineups, but I am using the real pitching matchups. And to that effect, in game one, we are going to have Roger Clemens on the mound for the Astros and Chris Carpenter on the mound for the St. Louis Cardinals. Clemens in 2005 was 13 and 8 with a 187 earned run average. And Chris Carpenter in 2005 was 21 and 5 with a 283. Both very excellent pitchers in their own right. Uh, so, the lineup for the visiting Astros will be Willie Tavares in center field, Craig Biggio at second base, Lance Berkman at first base, Morgan Ensberg at third, Jason Lane will be in right field, Orlando Palmero will be in left, Brad Osmus will do the catching, and Adam Everett is at shortstop with, followed up in the rear by Roger the Dodger, Rocket Roger Clemens. The lineup for the uh, homestanding St. Louis Cardinals will be Reggie Sanders, who will be playing in left field. Larry Walker will be in right. Albert Pujols at first base. Jim Edmonds in center. Mark Grudzelanek at second, David Eckstein at short, Scotty Rowland is the third baseman, Yadier Molina will do the catching, and the pitcher, of course, as we mentioned before, is Chris Carpenter. So let's get on with the game without any further delays. Willie Tavares stepping in against the Rocket, Roger Clemens. And he gets a 1-4, which is a line out to the shortstop. One away very quickly. Craig Biggio, part of the Killer Bees. 2-9. Two 2-9 nine. Two nine is a ground ball to the shortstop, and he is out. And that brings up the third place hitter, Lance Berkman. And Lance Berkman gets a 4-5, which is a triple 1-2, to two, or a single, and it actually is a single. So the uh, Astros have a base runner with two down and Morgan Ensberg up. Morgan Ensberg in 2005 hit 283 with 36 home runs. And that is a 211, which is a ground ball to the third baseman. He's out, and so are the Astros. And we go to the bottom of the second inning. Sorry, this is the bottom of the first, not the bottom of the second. Um, in 2005, the Astros were 89 and 73, while the Cardinals had a record of 100 wins and 62 losses. So here comes Reggie Sanders for the Cardinals. And that is a 4-7, which is a single 1-7, to seven, and it is a single. And Reggie Sanders, he's got a little bit of speed. Um, he is going to try to go. He's going to try to steal second. 
with a five, he easily makes it. And now Sanders is at second with no outs. And Larry Walker is up. Larry Walker gets a 610, and that is a fly ball to left field. So that's out. Wait, let's see. 610, fly ball to left field, yeah. Albert Pujols is up. And he gets a 6-8, and that is a fly ball to center field, two away. And Edmonds is at the plate with two down and a man at second. And he gets a 4-11, which is a ground ball to the shortstop. The shortstop for Houston is a 1. That is a 19. So let's see what happens on that. And that is an out. So the Cardinals do get a man as far as second base, but they don't do anything else after that. And so now we are going to the top of the second, still in a scoreless game. Jason Lane is up for Houston. He gets a 1-4. That's a ground ball third base. One away. Orlando Palmero gets a 5-12. That is a ground ball first base C. Two away. And Brad Osmus is up. And he gets a 3-3, and that is a ground ball to third, and Houston goes very quickly. In the top of the second, we go to the bottom of the second. Mark Grudzelanek is up for the Cardinals against Roger Clemens. That is a 2-7, and that is a fly ball left field. One away, Eckstein is up. One thing I love about Stratomatic Baseball is it goes very quickly. Uh, 412 is a uh, walk. Clemens walks Eckstein. So one on, one out. Eckstein, not really with the speed to take second. Roland is up and he gets a 2 3, and that's a ground ball third base double play. So, we go to the top of the third. Houston batting against Carpenter. Let me get the third. There you go. Adam Everett. The shortstop steps in. He has some speed if he can get on. 310. That is a triple one or a single, and it actually is a single. And with Roger Clemens up, what are they going to do? What are they going to do? They are actually going to bunt with Clemens. And that is a six. It moves Everett to second. There's one away. Tavares is up. Tavares gets a four nine. And that is a home run one to five. And it is a double. So a double and a run scores for Houston. They take the lead here. One nothing. Scoring in real time using Rumma Cube tiles after the zeros. Craig Biggio is up with a man at second and one down. And he gets a 3-4, which is a ground ball shortstop. Two away. And the runner holds at second. And that bringing Lance Berkman, part of the Killer Bees, to the plate. And he gets a 3-11. And he is a ground ball second base. Houston is retired. After getting one run, though, and taking the lead as we go to the bottom of the third, the Cardinals coming up. Yadier Molina. And he gets a 4-12. That is a walk. Clemens walks Yadi, And with the pitcher up, they are also going to sacrifice. That is a six, and he also does sacrifice him over to second base. 
So there is now a, the same situation for Houston as the uh, car, or for the Cardinals as Houston had in the um, top of the third. Reggie Sanders is up with one down. That is a 6-10. That is going to be a fly ball to left. There's two away. And Larry Walker up at play. Larry Walker, Larry Walker. He gets a 1-12, and that's a ground ball A, and that is the end of the inning for the Astros. We go to the top of the fourth. Time waits for no man, and that brings Morgan Ensberg to the plate to bat against Carpenter. And that is a 4-5, which is a strikeout, one away. Jason Lane, the Houston Astros, with a one-run lead here. And uh, he gets a 5-8, which is a pop-out to short. And that brings Palmero to the plate. Of course, Stratomatic, as quick as it goes, it goes even quicker when you have two great pitchers going against each other. Orlando Palmero gets a 3-10, and that is a single. Palmero gets a hit. And he is at first base with Osmus. And Osmus gets a 2 9, which is the ground out to short. And that is the inning for Houston as we go to the bottom of the fourth inning. And Albert Pujols will step in facing the Rocket, Roger Clemens. And that is a 4-4, which is a fly ball to right, one away. Jim Edmonds up. Jim Edmonds gets a 1-8, which is a double. Just a plain, everyday, ripping it down the line double. So you got a man at second with one down. And Grudzelonic at the plate. And that's a 1-7, which is a ground ball, third base. A, two away, runner holds at second, and with two down and a man at second, Eckstein comes to the plate, and he gets a 2-8, which is a single with one asterisk. So the runner has to hold, and you got runners at the corners. He is rolling up. You get the 2-8, and that's a pop-out plus injury. And he is only temporarily injured and remains in the game. Lucky for him and lucky for the Cardinals. Very lucky for the Cardinals. So we will go to the uh, top of the fifth. Top of the fifth with Houston batting and still leading 1-0. Adam Everett up, the shortstop. Both pitchers pitching great so far. And that's a 1-6, which is a strikeout. Adam Everett strikes out. That brings the Rocket, Roger Clemens, up to the plate. He is a three-hitter card. And that is a 6-5, which is a strikeout. And Willie Tavares is up for Houston. And he gets a 4-2, which is a ground ball B. So we go to the bottom of the fifth. We are just trucking along, trucking along right here. Bottom of the fifth, the Cardinals need a run to tie the game. And it's starting to get late, although being down by only one run, you could take that to the ninth and still not be in terrible shape. Yadier Molina up, and he gets a 112, which is a fly ball right field. One away. The pitcher is up. That is... Um, Carpenter. Carpenter's pitching too well to take him out just yet. 1-9 is a strikeout. Two down. And that brings Reggie Sanders, the leadoff man. He gets a 1-9 and he strikes out. So the Cardinals go quickly there. We go to the top of the sixth. Top of the sixth inning with Biggio coming up. The second baseman for Houston. That is a 6-9, and that is a triple one or a single, and it is a single. So Biggio is aboard. He is a stealing B. They'll hold him right now. Berkman at the plate. 
That is a 2-8, and that is going to be a ground ball double play to the third baseman. So two down. They decided to hold him up and see what happened, and what happened was a double play. And Morgan Ensberg is at the plate with two down, and he gets a 2-11 ground ball, third base A, and he is out. So we are going to the bottom of the sixth. The Cardinals trying to get that run back. It's only one nothing. Not not really insurmountable here. Larry Walker, Larry Walker, Larry Walker. Hall of Famer Larry Walker, I might add. He gets a 5-10, which is a ground ball second base. One away. It's also nice when you get the outs that you don't have to refer to the charts for. Pujols is up. He gets a 4-8, which is a strikeout. That's two down. And this series, I think, originally went six games. I want to say it went six games. Uh, Jimmy Edmonds is up with two down. Nobody on. And he gets a walk. So Jim Edmonds is aboard. They're not going to try anything funny there, even if he, even if he could... And really, he's only a C, so that's not good. Um, six seven is a pop out to the second baseman, but you know Clemens has really been on top of his game. So really has Carpenter. He's only allowed one run. It's not like this is the biggest you know deficit you're ever going to have to overcome. One nothing. But we go to the top of the seventh, and Houston is in control, and Clemens doesn't show any signs of tiring. And um, Jason Lane is up against Carpenter. And he gets a 2-8, which is a home run. Just a plain home run. Jason Lane takes the ball deep. And Houston now has a two-run lead. It is 2-0. Houston. And Orlando Palmero is stepping in and taking his cuts. And that is a 6-8. And that's going to be a single 1-11. to And it is a single. So now all of a sudden, Carpenter looks like he's really tiring out there. Osmus is up. Osmus gets a 5-10. That is a catcher card. The catcher for the um, St. Louis Cardinals is a, a 2. Molina was a 2 that year. And that is a 3 and a 2 at catcher, which is safe at first on drop pop-up. Molina, of all people, drops a pop-up. And uh, there are two runners on with um, with no outs. And uh, wait a minute, let's see. Lane hit the home run. Palmero got on. Osmus, yeah. So Everett is up with two on and no outs. And that is a two six, which is a ground ball shortstop double play. So it does it moves a runner over to third, but there's two down. And uh, uh, Clemens is up, and of course, with the way Clemens is pitching, he is not coming out. And that is a 4-5, which is a strikeout. But um, Carpenter did get touched up for another home run on the Jason Lane jack. And it is 2-0 going to the bottom of the seventh. The Cardinals down by two runs. They need, uh, they need to get something going really quickly now. Time is running out and the runs are piling up. David Eckstein gets a 2-7 and that is a line out to third. One away. Scotty Rowland. Scott Rowland gets a 3-6. That is a ground ball to the shortstop. Two out. And that brings up Yachty. Yachty. He gets a 5-7, and that is a ground ball to the second baseman. The second baseman is Biggio, and he is a 4, and that's a 10. So that might be something. 10-4, it's an out. It is something, it's an out. And so the top of the 8th rolls around. Willie Tavares up for Houston against Carpenter. He leads off the next inning, so this may be his last inning. They're just hoping he can get through it without giving up any more runs. 
Tavares gets a 4-7. That's a fly ball to center. One away. Craig Biggio. Biggio gets a 4-9. That is a home run. One to five. And it is, and it's a double. Lance Burstman with a man at second and one down. And that is a 4-7. That is a fly ball center. Two away. Or no, that was a 5-7. That's a fly ball left. Same difference. Ensberg. Ensberg comes up. He gets a 1-8. And that is a home run. I think the Astros have put this one probably away. Because they now lead 4-0. And Jason Lane is up. He homered before, and he this time gets a 4-6, which is a strikeout. But Houston strikes for four, and of course, with Carpenter coming up, they are not going to let Carpenter hit. The pinch hitter will be John Rodriguez. Pinch hitting for Chris Carpenter, and up in the Cardinals' bullpen is Cal Eldred. And that is a 210, and that's a single. So they get a man aboard. They need four runs, so even, I mean, even if they can chip away for something here, it would be good. Reggie Sanders stepping into the box. Get the 311, and that's a single. So the Cardinals got the first two guys on with base hits. With no outs, Larry Walker. In. Larry Walker gets a 110. That's a ground ball. Pitcher double play. Clemens starts the double play. And a runner goes, moves over to third. With two down, it's Pujols. And he gets a 6-7, and that is a pop out to second base. So the Cardinals come away there with nothing. And we go to the top of the ninth. With the Astros batting now against Cal Eldred, the relief pitcher for St. Louis. And uh, they're going to send Orlando Palmero up. He gets a 3-6. That is a double. So he just rips a double. Now all of a sudden the Houston bats are coming alive. Brad Ausmitz. Brad Ausmitz gets a 2-6, which is a walk, and he's aboard. Two runners on for Houston. No outs. And Adam Everett up. And he gets a 2-3, which is a ground ball double play to the shortstop. So they have a man at third with Clemens, who is going to pitch a complete game. And so he's batting here. And he gets a 6-11, which is... Um, that is a fly ball to the left fielder. The left fielder is for the... Uh, Cardinals, unfortunately, is Reggie Sanders, and he's a 4, and that's a 16. 16 and 4 is a single and air batter on second. So, um, uh, Clemens works his way onto second base with a, on a Reggie uh, Sanders air, and Willie Tavares, he gets a 1-7, which is a fly ball. So Houston comes away with no runs there, but probably, we're going to guess, I'm just guessing here, not going to need it. We go to the bottom of the ninth, Clemens is in full control here, he hasn't even allowed a run yet, and uh, Jimmy Edmonds is going to be trying to lead the Cardinals out and get that first. He gets a 1-3, which is a walk, so he does get a board. And Grudzelanek. He's the batter. Grudzelanek gets a 110, which is a pop out to third, one away. David Eckstein comes up. You get the 311. That's a pop out to third. So two guys in a row pop out to third base. And that leaves it all up to Scott Rowland with a runner at first base, down 4 nothing. What's he going to do? 4 8. That's a strikeout. And the Cardinals have lost game one. To Houston for nothing behind a complete game shutout by Roger the Rocket Clemens beating uh, Chris um, what was it? Chris Carpenter. So.
that is how your game one goes, and that's going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.